Unit 1, Greetings. Example 1. Hello, Layla. How are you? Steven, nice to see you. I'm fine. And you? I couldn't be better. I'm glad to hear that. What are you doing here? I came for a walk with my wife. I don't see your wife. Where is she now? She went to get something to eat. She'll be back soon. Great. I can't wait to say hello to her. Sure. My wife will be happy to see you too. Example 2. Hi. Hello. What's up? Nothing much. I'm just waiting for the bus. Have you been waiting for the bus for a long time? I've been waiting for about 40 minutes. 40 minutes? It's a long time to wait for the bus. I think so too. Maybe you should wait over there. Why should I wait over there? Because the bus stop is over there. This is the post box. Example 3 Hello. Hi, this is Steven. Is Tim there? Hi, Steven. This is Tim. How's life? Life is great, but I have not seen you in a long time. Yes, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. I'm so glad you called. All is well with you? Everything is great. Listen, I've got this amazing story to tell you. Really? Oh, my battery is dead. Unit 2. See you again. Example 1. Your wife has been gone for a long time. Yes, she has. Do you think she'll come back soon? She should be back any minute now. I'd love to stay, but I have to go now. You cannot wait a couple more minutes. I really have to go now. Please, give my regards to your wife for me. I will. Take care. Thanks, you too. See you again. Example 2 Is this your bus? I'm waiting for the number 14 bus. This is the 14. Oh, okay. Well, I have to go now. Okay, it was nice talking to you. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Example 3 Thank you so much for your help. No problem. I like to help. You're so kind. Well, I should be going. Okay. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. Hope to see you later. You can call me if you want. Okay. See you. Unit 3. Introducing oneself and others. Steven, is that you? Tim, fancy meeting you here. Long time no see. It has been a long time. Is this your friend? This is my wife, Layla. I'm pleased to meet you, Layla. 
Darling, this is Tim. We played on the same basketball team in high school. Nice to meet you, Tim. We were about to have dinner. Would you like to join us? Oh, thanks, but I'm having dinner with my mother tonight, and I must be going. Oh, it was good to see you. Good to see you too. Bye. Bye. Example two. Hi, Philip. Hi, Tim. Is this your friend? Have you met Layla before? No, I don't think so. Tim, this is my friend Layla. Layla, this is my colleague Philip. Hello, Layla. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Example three. Excuse me. Yes. May I introduce myself? My name is Eric William. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks, and nice to meet you too. I sell computers. You sell computers? Yes. If you ever need a computer, please call me. Okay, Eric. I do appreciate it. I'll call you if I need a computer. No trouble at all. Unit four: Inquiring about health. Example one. What's the matter with you? Oh, I had a small accident. A small accident? It looks like you broke your leg. Yes, I did break my leg. How did you break your leg? I fell off of a skateboard. Do you skateboard? No, it was my friend's skateboard. Does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Please don't do that. Sorry. Can I sign your gauze? Yeah, sure. But please be gentle. Example two. What's wrong, Layla? I don't feel so good. You sound terrible. Are you coming down with something? I I feel terrible. I think I may be coming down with the flu. Have you seen a doctor? No, I haven't seen a doctor yet. Have you taken any drugs? I'm going to the drugstore now. I'll go to the drugstore with you. Unit one: Making an appointment. Example one. I was wondering if you'd like to go out to dinner on Thursday. I cannot go out on Thursday. I'm busy. Are you busy on Friday? Yes, I am busy on Friday. Oh, that's too bad. Are you busy next week? Let me think. Yes, I am. But I'll be free next Wednesday. Ah,、uh, perhaps you'd be interested in going out to dinner. That sounds lovely. Great. We'll have dinner together next Wednesday. Example two. Hello. Can I make an appointment over the phone? Yes, you can. Can I make an appointment for seven p.m. on Wednesday? I'm sorry, you cannot make an appointment for that time. Why not? I'm afraid we're full until seven forty-five p.m. I see. Can I make the appointment for eleven thirty a.m.? Yes, eight p.m. on Wednesday should be fine. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Example three. I was wondering if you'd like to go to the circus. The circus? I'm afraid I can't. I don't like clowns. Uh, how about going to see a concert? I'd be delighted to see a concert. What time do you want to meet? Can I pick you up at 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. is great. Where will you pick me up at? How about I pick you up at your house? Great! Can I invite my sister too? Of course! That's very kind of you. Unit 2, making a request. Example 1. Hey, can you help me? Sure, what do you need? Do you know how to burn a CD? Sure, I know how to burn a CD. I want to make a CD of my favorite songs. Okay, no problem. I can do that. It's easy. Thanks, I'll pay you. You don't need to pay me. It's my pleasure. Thanks. Is there anything I can do to help? Where are the CDs you want to be copied? Here they are. And here's the songs I want to copy. And here is a blank CD. Great. That's all I need. Example 2. Excuse me. Can you give me a hand? Yes. What's the matter? My scooter has a flat tire. Hmm, is it flat or did you puncture it? I'm not sure. I think it has a puncture. Would you like me to help you to change it? That would be nice. I've never changed a flat tire before. Well, I'll show you how to do it. Thanks. Is there anything I can do to help? And if it ever happens again, you can do it yourself. Thanks so much. You're very kind. It's my pleasure. Do you have a spare tire? I don't have one. Oh, sorry. I can't help you then. What? Unit 3, Interrupting. Example 1. You... Hey, you! You! Are you talking to me? Yes! You! You! Uh, that is not very polite. It's not? No, it's not polite at all. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be impolite. If you would like to interrupt me or get my attention, you can say, excuse me. Excuse me? Yes, that's right. You can even say, pardon me. Pardon me? Yes, that's right. Now, let's start again. Excuse me? Yes. Pardon me? Very good. What can I do for you? I'm sorry. I forgot why I was interrupting you. Example 2 Excuse me, do you have the time? Yes, it's half past three. Half past three? Great! Pardon me, are you finished with the sports section yet? Yes, I am finished with the sports section. Could you tell me who won the game? Brazil or France? Here you are. You can have the sports section. Oh, great. Thank you. Sure. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you have a lighter? Uh, no, I don't. I don't smoke. Unit 3, 
Unit 4, Asking for Information, Example 1. I'm hoping you can help me. What do you need help with? I'm looking for information about visa requirements. Visa requirements for which country? Does it matter what country? Yes, different countries have different requirements. Really? Yes, for example, New Zealand has different requirements than the United States. Oh, what's the best way to find information about visa requirements? Well, maybe you can find information on the internet. But the best thing to do is to go to the embassy of the country you want to go to. So if I go to the embassy, I'll find out what information I need. That's right. Do you know where the American embassy is? It's on Broadway Avenue, next to the McDonald's. Thank you so much. Good luck. Example 2. Hello, I just wanted to ask, what time do you close? What day, sir? Oh, Friday. On Friday and Saturday, the kitchen closes at midnight and the restaurant closes at 2. And weekends? On weekends, the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. and the restaurant closes at midnight. What time do you stop serving drinks? We stop serving drinks about 10 minutes before closing. And what time do you open? We open at 10 a.m. every day. Thank you. My pleasure. Unit 1. Asking for clarification. Example 1. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, of course. What time are you going to work? 9 a.m. I have to be at work by 9 a.m. So, are you free before 9 a.m.? No, I'll be getting ready for work before 9 a.m. Wait, what do you want? Do you want to have breakfast with me tomorrow morning? No! That's okay. I've seen you every day this week. But I want to see you every day. No, that's way too much. Example 2 Do you know the other day when you said your bicycle is old? Yes, my bicycle is getting kind of old now. So you remember saying that, right? Right, that's what I said. And you said you should get a new bicycle? Yes, if I get some extra money, I should get a new bicycle. Remember how you said that if I wanted to borrow your bicycle, I could? Sure. I said that you are my friend. Wait, what's your point? Oh, well, I borrowed your bicycle to go to 7-Eleven and someone stole it. What? Who stole my bicycle? But... But there's no problem, right? Uh, you were planning on getting a new one. Wow. Unit 2, asking for directions. Example 1. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the bus station from here? Which bus station do you want to go to? Is there more than one bus station? Yes, there are four bus stations. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I want to go to L.A. 
Okay, LA is west of here, so you need to go to the western bus terminal. Where is the western bus terminal? That's over in Finchley. It's too far to walk. You'll have to take a bus or a taxi. I think I'll take a taxi. Okay, just tell the taxi driver you want to go to the western bus station. Great, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Example 2 There's an R. You need glasses. Excuse me? Yes? Pardon me for interrupting, but I'm lost and I'm trying to find my way back to my hotel. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the Penta Hotel. Oh, the best way to get back is to take the subway. Take the subway? Yes, there's a subway station opposite your hotel. Oh, okay. No, the best way is to take the bus. Why? The bus takes longer. She's clearly from out of town and the subway can be dangerous. The subway is not dangerous this time of day. It's not. It is real. It's not. In this area, it's not dangerous. The bus is fine. It's kind of you. Unit 3. Prohibition and Obligation Example 1 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Well, I have a question. Well, this is the information booth. I have an answer for you. Do you have a light? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Do you have a light for a cigarette? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't. You are not allowed to smoke indoors. Oh, I see. Do you have a smoking area around here? Yes, just outside in the parking lot. There's a bench and an ashtray there. That way? Yes, and perhaps you'll find someone with a light there. Thank you. You're welcome. Example 2 I'm sorry, no photos are allowed. What? No photos are allowed in this building. Why can't I take a photo? It's for security reasons, sir. Oh, well, can I shoot some video? No, I'm sorry. No videos are allowed either. What about if I take a picture with my mobile phone? No photos of any kind allowed in this building, sir. No videos either. Uh, so where can I take some pictures? Anywhere outside the building is allowed. So I can take a picture in front? Yes, that's right. What if I want a picture of that? You can buy pictures of that in the gift shop. I understand. Thank you. Unit 4. Persuasion and Giving Advice Example 1 What's wrong with you? I'm tired and I have a headache. Why is that? I've been studying for hours for this English exam. You should take a break. Do you think so? Yes. 
You should walk around and stretch your legs. Okay. Yeah. Good. Rest your eyes and get a drink. Uh, I feel better. You should eat something too. Want me to order a pizza? That's a good idea. Example two. Uh, can I give you some advice? I guess so. What is it? You shouldn't play video games at work. But I'm just taking a little break. Yes, but it looks bad. Well, then why are there games on this computer? The games came with the computer. Yeah. What's your point? What would the boss think if he saw you playing games and not working? I don't know. Cool, I love that game. What's your high score? 20,128. <laughs> Mine's over 30,000. Keep practicing. What are you standing around here for? Don't you have some work you should be doing? Hey, do you want some advice? What? You should mind your own business. Unit 1. Hotels. Example 1. Is Rex a good hotel? Yes, it's one of the best in the area. What are the rooms like? The hotel offers a variety of accommodations. Both bungalows and suites are available. Is there a restaurant there? Yes, the hotel is a wonderful restaurant. All meals are buffet style. Where is the hotel? It's located right on the beach, and the bungalows are right on the water's edge. That sounds good. Thank you very much. Example 2 What is the Grand Hotel like? The hotel offers good service and value for money. How big are the rooms? The rooms are spacious and simply furnished. What about the location? The hotel's great location makes it ideal for a quiet retreat. You can relax and unwind. Is it close to the sea? Yes, the beautiful beach is only a short walk away. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much for your help. Example 3 Can you tell me a little bit about the hotel? The accommodation is clean, comfortable, and affordable. What types of rooms are available? Single, twins, and double rooms are available. They are either superior or deluxe. What do the rooms look like? The hotel has been recently renovated and modernized, so all the rooms are pleasantly decorated and furnished. Is the hotel near any of the city's attractions? The hotel is located within walking distance from all the local points of interest. Unit 2. Travel and Transport Example 1 Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. Good morning, sir. Did you have a nice flight? Very good. Thanks. I had a stopover in Bangkok last night, so it was just a short domestic flight for me today. Our minibus is waiting right outside. 
I have to wait for just one more passenger to arrive, and then we'll set off. Will the journey take very long? Not at all. About twenty minutes. What time do the other guests get in? Oh, he was on the same flight as you, so he should be here any minute. Great. Example two. I'm going on the tour tomorrow. What time will I be picked up? Oh, the bus will pick you up around seven a.m. Please wait at your hotel reception. It will call for you. Can you tell me a little about tomorrow's itinerary? Certainly. The trip starts at seven when we pick you up at your hotel. We'll stop off at a couple of other hotels to collect some more guests, and then it's straight to the Ayutthaya. Will we stop for something to eat? On the way, we'll stop at a small restaurant for breakfast, and then we'll have our lunch around midday. What time are we due back? I will drop you off at your hotel around six. Thank you. You're very welcome. Example three. Can you tell me how to get to the Grand Palace? Sure. There are a number of ways to get there. You could take a bus, taxi, or a tuk-tuk. Is that one of those three-wheeled vehicles I've seen around? That's right. The traffic is so bad at this time of day, though. It will take quite a long time to get there. It might be better for you to take a boat. Oh, that sounds better anyway. Yes, it's quite nice to escape the traffic and cruise up and down the top of a river. How frequently do the boats run? During the day, they run every fifteen minutes or so. That's great. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Unit three, conversation openers. Example one. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Very well, thank you. Did you sleep well? Yes, I was so tired. I went to bed really early. I'm glad to hear that you had a good night's sleep, because we will have a lot of interesting things to see today. Great! I can't wait. I'm going to talk to the other guests now. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance. Thank you. I will. Example two. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Is this your first visit to Thailand? Yes, it is. I'm really enjoying it. How long are you staying? I'm on a two-week holiday. I have already been here one week, so I have one more to go. Where have you been so far? I spent the first week on the beach relaxing. Now I have a week of sightseeing. Good. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please feel free to ask me any questions you like. I'm always willing to help. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Example three. Again, I'm sorry, but what did you say your name was? I'm Bill. Sorry, Bill. So, what do you do back home? Oh, I'm an accountant. That's interesting. Do you enjoy your job? Oh, you know, it pays the bills. 
Do you enjoy this? Yes, I'm very proud of our history and culture, and it's great to share that with people. Don't you get bored at all? Oh, there's always someone new to talk to and always some questions that haven't been asked before. It's nice when someone enjoys their work. Yes, I love meeting new people and I enjoy practicing my English too. I think your English is very good and certainly a lot better than my Thai. Thank you, you're very kind. Unit 1 The Tour Example 1 Please tell me about the most popular resort areas in Thailand. Thailand has many inland and coastal resorts. I already know about many of the resorts in southern Thailand. What about the rest of the country? Central Thailand has beautiful rivers and waterfalls, and there are mountains and lush forests in the north. The Thai scenery certainly does sound fantastic. Would you like me to book anything for you now? Wow, there is so much to do and so little time to do it. I think I will have to think about how long I have left and then let you know. Okay, no problem. I'm here to offer any advice when you need it. Thank you ever so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Example 2 Hello. I'd like some advice, please. Sure. How can I help you? I'm on a vacation, but I'm only here for a few days. I'd like to know what tours do you recommend. Okay. Are you looking for a day excursion to some local attractions, or an overnight trip, or perhaps a weekend getaway? I'd like to go to some local attractions. I think because I've already done a lot of traveling. In that case, may I suggest that you look through this brochure and see if there's anything there that interests you. Thank you. Kanchanaburi looks interesting. I see that you have two package tours to Kanchanaburi. Can you give me the price of each one? Certainly. The day trip costs 1,300 baht, and the overnight trip costs 2,400 baht. It looks like there are a lot more items included in the two-day itinerary. So, I think I'll choose that one. Okay, I will make the reservation for you. It's a really good tour, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Besides the Bangkok attractions, can you tell me what other day trips are available? Certainly. The two most popular excursions are the tour of Ayutthaya and Kanchanaburi. Ah, yes. That's where the famous bridge over the river Kwai is, isn't it? That's right. We offer trips to the bridge and also the Death Railway, where thousands of Allied troops were killed by the brutal treatment of the Japanese during its construction. What else is there to see in Kanchanaburi? Most in the province remain sparsely populated and wild, so there are a number of wildlife sanctuaries. I'd like to go see what the real Thai countryside looks like. Yes, you should. The landscape is so picturesque. Kanchanaburi has several of Thailand's largest waterfalls. They are beautiful. Okay, please reserve it for me. When can I go? Unit 2 Thai Customs 
Example 1. This is my first trip to Thailand and I'd like to find out some information about Thai customs. Okay. The first thing you should know is the Thai greeting. Yes, I've seen that when Thai greet each other, they put their hands together in a prayer position. That's right. It's called the Y, and Thai people do it to show respect for each other. That's interesting. We just shake hands. Yes, and most Thai people know that, so no one will be angry with you if you don't why. However, if someone does why to you, then it's only polite to return the greeting. Is that the only time a why is performed? No, Thai people also show respect to images of the king and Lord Buddha in the same way. Although the Y is performed on these occasions, the hands are held tighter and the head is bowed lower. This gesture can mean not only hello, but also thank you, goodbye, and I'm sorry. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Thanks for your advice. Example 2 I heard that Thai food is very delicious. Is it very spicy? Thai food is wonderful, but a lot of our dishes are made using chilies. So be careful, especially if you're not used to hot food. Is it possible to eat food that isn't very spicy? Yes, there are a number of dishes that aren't too spicy. Look out for dishes that are made using coconut milk. Those tend to be less spicy. Is there any Thai food I should watch out for? My advice is to try everything, but do be careful if you buy food from a street vendor. They are not governed by the health authority, so the food might not be as clean or prepared as the food you would get in a restaurant. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Example 3 What do traditional Thai homes look like? Well, traditional homes were made from teak. They had ornate roofs and were usually built on stilts. Nowadays, most people live in modern houses or apartments. What should I do if I'm invited to a Thai house? Thai people are very hospitable, so it's not unusual to be invited into somebody's home. Are there any do's and don'ts? Well, you must remember to take your shoes off at the door. That's the most important. What should I expect? Oh, you'll probably be offered something to eat and drink. A glass of water, a cup of coffee, some fruit, whatever is at hand, really. But what if I'm not hungry or thirsty? You should try something. To refuse even a taste might be considered impolite. Thank you. That's good advice to know. You're welcome.